The most important part of this program, Dr. Singer, is going to be to talk to people who are not so sure that we're right about this, that they, they think maybe global warming's for real. What can you say to those people to explain to them that their carbon footprints are is not creating global warming and that uh, you have good proof that there is no significant man-made global warming? I think you've put your finger on it. It is not the matter of global warming that we're talking about. It is the question of what is the cause of global warming when there is a warming. Don't forget that the climate keeps changing on its own without any human assistance. It warms and it cools, it warms and it cools. And in fact, during the 20th century, from 1940 to 1975, the climate cooled. And during the 21st century, that is since the beginning of this century, for the last 10 years, there hasn't been a warming trend. So the climate uh, doesn't behave the way in which the greenhouse models predict. Uh, you cannot therefore use the models as any kind of proof that carbon dioxide is causing the climate to change. It just, just doesn't, doesn't work. In other words, there's no evidence that a carbon footprint, no matter how large, will have any appreciable effect on the climate. Dr. Singer, uh, we, we are uh, revealing on this program for the first time that uh, a computer programmer and a certified consulting meteorologist, uh, E. Michael Smith of San Jose, California, and Joe DeLeo of uh, New Hampshire have been able to get deeply into the computer system used by NASA GIS in New York and by the NCDC in Asheville, North Carolina to proclaim that this year or another is the warmest year ever or so on and they have found great manipulation of the data. Uh, if that is the case, uh, how do we actually know at all what the temperature of Earth is or has been? Well, first of all, I'm in close touch with Joe DeLeo. I only spoke to him uh, uh, yesterday, a long telephone conversation. Uh, we've worked together before. Uh, he's a valued contributor to the NIPCC, the Non-Governmental International Panel on Climate Change, which, as you know, has written a report that directly contradicts the IPCC. In other words, uh, the NIPCC says that nature, not human activity, rules the climate. And that seems to be borne out by all the data we can find. Uh, Joe did tell me about the, the work that uh, Michael Smith was doing. He didn't identify him by name. But uh, we know from uh, published work that the GIS people, that is Jim Hansen, has selected stations from among the many, many stations in the United States. He selected those that show a warming. So by selection, you can generate a warming trend when, in fact, there may be very little warming or practically none. Uh, this is a kind of way in which the analyst can manipulate the data. I'm using that word on purpose. Manipulate the data to manufacture a warming. I call it man-made global warming. In a real sense, it's man-made, it's manufactured. It doesn't exist in nature. What is the chance that uh, you there in Washington and the others you work with could get our Congress to investigate these centers for this manipulation? Uh, I'm no great expert on Congress. Uh, uh, first place, uh, the Congress uh, is, is ruled, as you know, by people who, generally speaking, support the story that man-made warming is not only important but dangerous and a big calamity and something needs to be done. Just look at the bill that was passed in the House a few months ago, the Waxman-Markey bill, the so-called cap-and-trade bill, which takes the idea that there is a dangerous global warming trend, takes this idea as given and then spends a lot of time trying to figure out how to manipulate the emissions of carbon dioxide.
in the process, of course, it turns out that the bill is mainly about money. Uh, who to give money to, where to take money from. It really actually doesn't even mention the word climate in the title of the bill. So what you're telling us is that this Congress isn't likely to look into this matter? Well, it depends on the election in November of this year. If the leadership of the House or the Senate should change, and there's a possibility of that, then I would expect that there would be investigations not only of uh, the way in which the data have been manipulated in the United States, but also of the Climate Gate Affair in England, Our which time of course is up. has broken we, to the news. Our time is up. Uh, television is a, a great compressor of time. Dr. Singer, it is with great pleasure that I tell you what a hero you are of mine, and thank you for being on the, this telecast. Well, thank you, John. I enjoy talking with you.